What's up guys, Gavin here. Welcome back to another Daredevil reaction. Marvel's Daredevil Season 1, Episode 10. This one's called Nelson v. Murdoch, which is crazy because last episode, as you know, Foggy Nelson walked into Matt Murdoch's apartment. He was Matt was all beat up from fighting Fisk um, as Daredevil in his mask, of course. Fisk still, still doesn't know his true identity. Um, but Foggy removed the mask and figured out it's his best friend, Matt Murdock. So Foggy knows of his, his identity now. So Nelson V. Murdock, why is it called that? He's not going to be put on trial. There's no way. Because I don't think Daredevil's identity ever go, comes out. I feel like he's like he's kind of like Spider-Man, right? He never wants to reveal his identity. What's going to happen this episode? I, last episode, um, that weird thing happened where my recording stopped. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen this episode. So I'm watching it. I'm going to keep looking. Um, but so far, we've been good this whole week without that happening. So, but uh, yeah, let's just hop right in this episode. Nelson v. Murdoch, season one, episode 10. This is going to be crazy. Eh. Oh, jeez, oh, he is beat up so much. Oh. Yeah, he's not going to be able to hide those scars all over his face either. Maybe that's why he's going to go on trial. Karen's going to think he's up to something. What the hell do I know about Matt Murdock? Oh, this come on. Don't instantly go against him. Nope. You know your friend Matt. He's a good guy. That was your nurse friend. She was hot, by the way. <laughs> but I guess you already knew that, huh? Fuck. Just tell me one thing, Matt. Oh, uh, Foggy feels so Are betrayed. Really blind? <laughs> yes. Oh, he's doubting everything now. He's doubting everything about Matt's character. Even his blindness, really. Oh my gosh. He knows that there's, there's, there's a, he lives in a world of superheroes. But he finds it very hard to believe that Matt can fight while blind. And all this stuff, which, I mean, if you've known your friend your whole life, I guess it's pretty jawing figuring out that he's a superhero. Or a supervillain, as he might think right now. I say jawing, I mean jarring. Load. <clears throat> Whoa, what Load. the? What? Yeah, who are you looking for? Whoa, it's when they first met. Oh, uh, sorry. What for? This is so weird. Oh. Uh. Matt Murdock. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Foggy Nelson. Most people dance around me like I'm made of glass. I, I hate that. Yeah, just a guy, right? Yeah, he sees him. Really good looking guy. Oh, Foggy, okay. Oh, um, I mean, girls must love that. The whole wounded, handsome duck thing. Am I right? <laughs> what is me? As your wingman, you're going to open up a <laughs> caliber of women. I've only he still is his wingman. A lot. You're taking Punjabi? It's spoken by 130 million people. I'd like to know what they're saying. <laughs> Punjabi? I've never even heard of that. What? Why else would I learn it? One girl, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be one of those episodes. It reminds me of Lost, this episode. At least the flashbacks. And the wind noise when it flashed to this present day. See, right? Yeah, in a, in a manner of speaking. No, Lost is the best no, show, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Go watch it. How many fingers am I holding up? One. I mean, he, <laughs> he can see, like his mind the other senses all these years i actually felt sorry for you i didn't ask for that i never i never asked for that you expect me to sit here like hi i'm matt i got some chemicals splashed in my eyes when i was a kid <laughs> splashed in my eyes well, maybe not lead with that she found me in a dumpster all right half dead she didn't she didn't tell you she wouldn't say anything about all this thank you claire trustworthy Look, he's reminiscing on everything of his past. Did you blow up those buildings? Shoot those cops? You really even need to ask that? Yeah, I think I do. And then 
ninja. <laughs> ninja. <laughs> a ninja. I think. What are you doing, Matt? You're a lawyer. You're supposed to be helping people. I am. In a mask. Do you know what they call that? A vigilante. Someone who acts out. An Avenger. That's what they call it. Please, he doesn't want to lie to her. Will he do it? That was. Come on. Lie to her. Oh my God. He was in a car accident. Matt was driving. There we go. He, um, he, he got hit. He saved himself quick with that one. <laughs> he was in a car accident. <laughs> I'm sure Gao will be pleased that Nobu is burned, disintegrated, turned to ashes. True, he didn't ask Nobu to fight him. He did take it upon himself to try. This really doesn't sound like a real language. I mean, I know it is, but I barely ever... And anything ever hear Mandarin. It just sounds so weird to me. Like it sounds kind of like a sim. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> okay, thank you. There is conflict within you. Conflict. Man cannot be both savior and oppressor. Light and shadow. One has to be sacrifice for the other he's just gonna go all shadow isn't he choose. And choose wise knowing he's gonna be the villain but will he still think he's all light all about saving the city probably or others shall choose for you oh oh what the oh my gosh that's kind of scary her face but should she just die? Oh, they were kissing. Wait, no, she's. Oh, does she have like amnesia? Hello, or the other one? The ones where you forget? Oh, yeah. Uh. We just got a little glimpse into his life for five minutes there, and. And then it just resets. He's already done this many times before. He always says the same thing. Jeez. Okay. The extension. He wants to keep her on there forever. Oh, they're gonna have to take her off the life support. It's so messed up because they, you get those nice five minutes every time with them, so they're basically alive. I mean, they are alive, but then they just you just have to redo it all over again. The internet, but how do you do you know you ordered a black one? It, it could have been like a bright green suit that you put on. You wouldn't know. Stick. An old man named Stick. You're shitting me. You found me at the orphanage. Blind like me. Well, almost like me. A blind old man taught you the ancient ways of martial arts. It is true. Isn't that the part of Kung Fu? <laughs> Sorry, was a distraction. We just learned that in JoJo. Wamu, he went. My abilities. Gouge his eyes out. <laughs> I know you're hungry and tired, and I know the more I say, the faster your heart beats. You That's your pretty heartbeat. cool. From across the room, helps to anticipate behavior. That's why he's a lawyer. When they're lying. You listen to her heartbeat without her permission? <laughs> yeah, he is entering their feelings without their permission. <laughs> There's a system in place, and, and it's weird and invasive. But it's super cool, right? Wait, since I've known you, any time I wasn't telling the truth, you knew? What? Just played along? Yeah. Basically. You always say that, Foggy. <laughs> Was anything <laughs> really real with us? Watch out, uh, everybody! I'm blind, Matt Murdoch! Oh, I like these flashbacks. I help you. What are you looking for, my young Padawan? <laughs> <laughs> Yoda? This is someone I really like listening to. 
in the middle of the stairs like champions liquid in your inner ear gets disturbed has trouble leveling off or something big brain that sucks i thought you might get a pass on that one no that's even worse for me i think because my senses are so are uh Oh, he almost, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that many years ago, he almost said it. He was getting so close to Foggy, he thought he could just say it to him. We're gonna have big, fancy offices one day. <laughs> they literally, <laughs> they hang a napkin on their door. There we go. Nelson and Murdoch. He let his name go ahead. He let Nelson be first. I want to spend quality time with this grandkid some such bullshit. Metro could use you. It's a good section. No more running around. I'm no editor. I'm a reporter. Yeah, well, that's what I said now. Look how fancy I am. A box of Converse? Oh, oh, Ben, oh my gosh. Eh. What the hell is this? All the evidence and everything. Why are you giving it to me? I used to be like you back in the day. Good at turning heads, getting people's attention, pissing them off. He's giving up on the job. His wife is. He wants to take. He's gonna take the job. There's um. There's a nursing home that I just heard about upstate. Uh, I think it might change your mind. Hmm. Karen. No, just take a ride. Oh, I don't want Ben to quit his job here with with Karen. He's gotta go put his wife in a nice nursing home. What is the new nursing home? Is Karen going to show him to the jackpot of her money? Because she won a lot of money that one time. You burned him alive? <laughs> yes. I never laid a hand on Nobu. Where are they going with Vanessa? To the art gallery or something? Out of hand. Ever since you started seeing that woman, Leland. You have a son, yes? You know I do. You're going to threaten him? Is he choosing the dark side? I in the past. I assume you met a woman. Fell in love. What does that have to do with this? Everything. Gal's right. You've changed. Yes. Change is inevitable. For me, this city, and certain relationships. Oh, <laughs> it's getting scary. This is changing. All right. <laughs> They're slowly dwindling off, slowly dying out. His whole crew of people. Not even slowly. This is episode ten of the the show. I feel like we've been watching this for months. Did you do that? <laughs> uh, himself in. I can't hear your heartbeat. Are you telling me the truth? I didn't kill him, Foggy. It's Fisk, covering his ass. So you never, you never gone that far. He's never killed. No. It's not. Fisk owns the law. Not only does my Basically. Roxxon Energy, Corporation Roxxon Energy? Oh my gosh. I remember Roxxon from something. I don't think they're in any of the MCU movies. Roxxon Energy? Maybe the Spider-Man game or something? Is he going to have a heart attack? Or is he just lying? He's just lying. I'm going to steal as many bagels as I can fit in this box. You as my partner, there's no telling when I'll be able to afford a real meal again. <laughs> <laughs> we will get a lot. You don't, you don't need the office. You don't need the Bentleys. You just need Matt Murdock. Look at you now. Look at this beautiful apartment. Covered in blood. There's nothing you can do but swim in shit. Too much in your mouth. That's disgusting. 
A uh, disgusting metaphor right there. What are we doing here? I can't afford this place. I think she this afforded it for him. Let's just take a look around. Kind Karen. Can I get a kind Karen in the comments? Abilities developed. I realized how many sirens there actually were. Sure is. How much this city suffered. It's kind of cool to learn about him. Running around doing this since you were a kid? No. No. <laughs> I tried not to fight a girl crying in her bed in a building down the block. Her father liked to go to her room late at night. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus. What they, supposed to? they did nothing. But the mom, she wouldn't believe it. How he did it. So we had to go beat him up. Different costume? Oh, yeah, he had a hood on back then. He didn't hear him? <laughs> I heard it from way over there. His first fight. He had to listen to that for days. Uh Poor Matt. This is a cool way to start his story off. He probably really wanted to murder this guy. Jeez, okay. Kinda looks cooler like this without... What does he have now? Does something go over his head? He looks different. This looks cooler. But you can tell too much that it's it's Matt. I can't imagine his costume right now, but I'm pretty sure he has something that goes over his... hair as well. Good. You should have told him to never return. One day you just had it with how things are. It was inevitable. It's about you an just like Fisk and his change for the city. He enjoys it, remember? I remember that. You're very pretty. I agree. What if she's in there? <laughs> his wife's literally in there. Or we could just knock. That's just some random lady. I thought she already moved his wife here. <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, maybe this is what. Oh. Oh, she knows her. Time for what? Wait, no. Do you know what? You bring it before I go to bed every night. Oh. No, wrong person. I don't know you, do I? I thought maybe this was like her mom or something for a second. Is it time? Oh, same thing. We're sorry to bother you, ma'am. We need you. This is Vestine, um, your husband. See, this is how you talk to them. You take things that they say from before, things that they already know, so when they reset, you can keep the conversation going from things that they already know. Um, if that makes sense. I, I don't know how to talk. Wilson. This? Or... Karen, this is why you took him here? Oh my gosh, she's crazy. Oh no, no, no. She's the one that chopped him to pieces. Chopped the father. Murdered. Wilson. Just wanted him to stop. Oh no. They're gonna get some hard evidence here, maybe though, that that fisk chopped him up. There are those. Ooh, let's go. Okay, there's a big twist right there. I was not expecting that. But of course Fisk is out here making himself look better to the public. Every time they're about to get some hard evidence against him. Is this the longest episode yet? This feels very long. Anybody need a drink as bad as I do? Yes, please. And I'll leave that to people like you, Senator. <laughs> what if the drink is poisoned? Yeah, people are passing out. Okay, no way, no way, no way. I was right about this. The wine is all poisoned. Oh, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. I knew it, because... She took a sip and went, she like made a face. It's all poison. How? No, Vanessa. It wasn't his idea to do this. I was bringing out the worst in him by killing her. Oh no, Leland. I don't care about you, but like, you must be terrified seeing everyone pass out. I knew it. I called it. Jeez, okay. Yikes. Maybe I should be a detective. I just like look, seeing people's faces. I just, I just know that that wine is poisoned, or champagne, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't drink. I don't. I don't know. 
Come on, Foggy. Tell me yourself. How is that any different than the way he solves his problems? I made a mistake. I know that. Misspelling Hanukkah is a mistake. <laughs> murder is a little something else. You ever stop to think? <laughs> Misspelling Hanukkah is a mistake. I didn't know. Oh. This city needs me in that man's body. Maybe you're right. Maybe it does. But I don't. Dude, their friendship is getting <laughs> ruined. I needed my friend. Oh. I wouldn't have kept this from you, man. Not from you. You don't know that. You don't know it. Yeah. I do. He's probably telling the truth. He can feel it. Oh, no. Their friendship can't get ruined from this. He's just leaving. They won't get ruined. They're gonna. They're, they're still friends. That's really sad, though. No, my friend. This oh no! <laughs> is it their napkins? Uh, it's a sign. That's great. Isn't the same sign? I, I think so. That is way too tiny of a napkin. They redraw it later. <laughs> it got a little stain on it. Look at their sign now, though. It's so good. Don't break it, Foggy. Don't break it. Are you moving out of the office? Come on. What the heck? Get that out of the trash. Put it, hang it back up. It's over. Nelson and Murdoch are over. And the episode is over as well. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a pretty, that was a pretty good episode, like, had a lot that was that that was the longest episode i think just by a couple minutes extra but that was fantastic um i want to say that was super surprising what happened to fisk and all those people in the in the mon mausoleum mausoleum uh except i literally predicted it <laughs> they all just got poisoned as soon as leland and um fisk's girlfriend i keep forgetting her name um as soon as they grabbed the glasses, I was like, oh, these two characters are expendable. Why didn't Wesley and Fisk grab the glasses? I'm like, oh, that's definitely poisoned. Fisk didn't know, though. I don't think. It didn't seem like he did. Even if he did know, that would mean it, it was Gao that told him earlier he has to make the tough choice to become the dark-sided one or light side, you know, whatever. I, I'm simplifying it a lot, but that's basically what it, what his choices were. So if he did know, he definitely chose the dark path. Um, but I don't think he knew about the wine or the, the champagne. I think Gao did it. She said if he doesn't choose soon, it's, it's going to be brought out in him. And I think Gao poisoned all of that and brought it out in him. He's, he's turning. He's going down a dark path after this. She's dead. He's going to don a white suit because she always wore white. I already know. No, I don't know if he's going to wear a white suit. But I just imagine Fisk with a white suit, even though in Spider-Verse, I know he didn't. I don't think he wore a white one. Why do I keep imagining him with a big white suit? I don't know. But that would kind of look cool, though. Nelson, I mean, Foggy, Foggy, uh, and Matt's past. I like seeing a lot. Um shows their whole friendship since the first second they laid eyes on each other all the way up until right before they got their new office right before episode one where we saw them um arriving in their new office and hanging the little napkin on the wall so we got all their backstory basically uh we know so much about matt's backstory a lot more about foggies and now they're they're broken up they're uh i don't know I don't I think they'll come back together because I don't see hmm I could see Matt doing his own thing in court in court cases as a as a defendant or a lawyer or whatever attorney um because if he's people are predicting he's going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home why would it just be him and not Foggy like are are they apart officially now are they not going to do cases together is Foggy leaving the show I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But it seemed... Oh, they were like crying together at the end. That was sad. It's, it seems like they're going to come back together. I, I'm guessing. 
Foggy's a big character. They've been building him up this whole time. They just showed his backstory. There's no way he's just gonna leave right now, right? I don't think so. Um, Karen and Ben Yurick are getting some hard evidence, possibly if the mom remembers what Wilson Fisk did back then to to uh, the husband or to his dad. They're gonna they're gonna bring Fisk into the light even more with some hard evidence that he murdered his father. But I don't know if the the mom would rat him out because. She was the one that recommended chopping him up and putting him in the river. One body part at a time, once every seven days, bringing a body part down to the river. So she would be writing herself out at that point. But maybe she doesn't know any better. She's kind of loopy right now. Lots of stuff happened this episode, though. Hopefully I covered it all right there in my, my little recap. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video, dislike it if you dislike it. Comment whatever you want down below, and we're about to head into episode 11, and then I think 12 is the finale of season 1, or maybe 13, I don't know. We're very close to the finale of season 1, though, so thank you guys if you have been watching all these reactions, and hopefully you've been enjoying them. I know I have, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>